Hey guys, it's X Original Tech, and today I'm going to be showing you a bunch of different Cydia tweaks, and I'm going to be showing you my perfect iPhone jailbreak setup. So if you want to get the setup exactly how I have it, just carry on watching this video, and also look in the description for all of the links to the repos and for all of the tweaks and for like all of the iWidgets. Look in the description, and for all of the devices this works with for this perfect device setup. So the first thing you're going to notice is on my lock screen I have a widget and also all of my status grabber, notification grabber, control center grabber, my camera grabber and my status bar is completely gone. This is due to a tweak called Hide Me X. Hide Me X basically just allows me to hide any of the stuff. I'm not going to really be going into too much detail with some of these tweaks because they are very big tweaks and they take me quite a while to create this video. So all it does is it allows me to hide any of the options on alerts, animations, app switcher, control center, dock or any of the stuff you see on this page. It also allows me to do some of these things like first party apps and third party apps and it also allows me to have X original tech in the top left hand corner of my screen. So the next thing I'm going to be showing you is called lock HTML. Lock HTML gives me the widget that I have on my lock screen right now. This is a very nice looking widget and it basically just makes your device look very clean and flush with the hide me X tweak. So to get this widget, all you need to go is go into Cydia and install the widget. I'm going to have the name of the widget in the description so you can go and install it from there. Once you get the widget, all you need to do is tap go into lock HTML. I'm going to show you right here. Just go into lock HTML and select the widget. It is called AKVO. Select it. It will become come on your lock screen. All you need to do to move it is to hold it down and it will start to wiggle and you can move it around wherever you want to put it and if you want it to stop wiggling all you need to do is press the home button to move it around all you need to do is hold it down and then let go wherever you want to put it and then press the home button and it will stop wiggling the next thing you're going to know is is roman passcodes so this basically allows you to have roman numerals as your passcode it's a very simple tweak and that is pretty much all it does now that we're moving on to my home screen the first thing i'm going to tell you about is the background if you want the wallpaper I have right now I'm gonna put it in the mid description so you can download it right from there now we're gonna be moving into the tweaks in my settings the first tweak I'm gonna tell you about is 3d app lock this basically just allows you to lock your apps using 3d touch all you need to do is press down and then move to lock app and then when I go try to go into the app it will be locked and I need to use my touch ID to unlock it you don't just need to use a touch ID, you can use, if I put in the wrong fingerprint right here, then it'll tell me to try again and I can put in my actual Apple ID passcode to unlock it if I wanted to. Now if I wanted to unlock it, all I need to do is hold down and unlock app, put my fingerprint and it will unlock the app, now I can just open it quickly again. It also has some settings, as you can see right here, most of these tweaks are paid tweaks guys, so if you want to get these you have to pay for them. So definitely pay for them because um, it helps the developers and makes it easier for them to make these tweaks. If you don't like it, all you need to do is refund it because Sorik added a refund option. So the next tweak is Activate. I'm not going to really be going into too much options with this one because everybody knows about Activate. It's been here for a very long time. And all it does allows you to do is to set gestures for different stuff. So if I wanted to, I can double test my home button and set a bunch of different options for that. But I'm not going to go into much with that. APOREO -E just allows me to charge my device faster. So it allows you to charge any device faster. All it does is puts your device into low powered mode. As you can see when I put my device in, in the top right hand corner, it shows a orange bar which means it's in low powered mode. And it will charge my device twice as fast as any normal device. I have tried this tweak, tried it without this tweak and tried it with this tweak and it had charged my device way faster using this tweak. The next tweak is Barrel. Barrel just gives me a bunch of different options on how I want to 
use my screen animations as you can see right here I have curl and roll away but when I go into the options of barrel as you can see right here it gives me a bunch of different options you can have a bunch of different ones you can only have one set at a time this is a paid tweak so if you want to get the free version there is another app called cylinder and it is a free version and it allows you to combine different options of swiping I definitely recommend that if you do not want to pay for barrel the next tweak is called better Wi-Fi 7 I'm not really gonna go into too much detail with this one because there's a very big tweak and all it does is makes your Wi-Fi a little bit better so if you keep on disconnecting because your Wi-Fi is too far away install this tweak and it will just basically make your Wi-Fi a little bit better and it will allow you to look at the passcode of your Wi-Fi that you are connected to so if your friend puts in your pass into his passcode and he doesn't want you to know it so he just put it in for you you can just use this tweak and look at a passcode and save it if you wanted to the next thing is boxy2 this just allows you to have my setup right here which is six rows and four columns and it allows you to center it so if you want exactly how I have it which is six rows and four columns all you need to do is enable it enable you don't need to enable quick settings but you need to go to presets and set the options I have right here which is 5, 10, 50, and 20. Auto center horizontally and auto center vertically do not work for iPhone 6. So I, I couldn't get them to work. So I just made these options. I will put these options in the description so you can go in and check those out. Quick send, qu enable quick setting just allows you to swipe up on your home screen and it will give you a bunch of these different options. I like how this looks, but I'm going to keep it at my user configuration. The next tweak I'm going to be showing you is called Classic Folders. So if you want the blurred background that I have, the Batman wallpaper is not the blurred background, it's just the wallpaper. If you want the blurred background, you're going to need to get Classic Folders. Classic Folders does not just give you the blurred background, but it also allows you to change the look of your folders to make it look very nice. Right now I have it set to Mavericks, but you can also set it to Classic, which basically gives you the iOS 6 look. Or you can change it to I modern, which just still gives you the iOS 6 look. It just makes it look more modernized. And you can change it to iOS 4. If you guys don't know what iOS 4 looks like, you can change it to that. It looks very nice, but as of right now, the one I am using is Mavericks. The next tweak I'm going to be showing you is Delete Forever. This just allows you to permanently delete any photo so when you're in a photo app when usually when you delete a photo it will go into your recently deleted when you install this all you need to do is go and enable it and hide regular delete action and basically when you delete a photo it will permanently delete forever the next week I'm going to be showing you is called link tunes link tunes basically allows you to download free music right from your iTunes app so as you can see here when I go into the iTunes app you all you need to do is go into iTunes and then click on link tunes in the fourth option on the bar and it, all you need to do is click on anything and you can install any of the new music that have just come out like the Suicide Squad album or any of the albums as you can see here and you can search for different songs if you want to and I like that too because it allows me to install music right from my phone without having to use YouTube and a YouTube converter. Import audio audio file just allows you to if you have music on your phone like Android you just put it onto your phone all you need to do is click import audio file and it will allow you to search for the actual song and import it right into your music app so you can play it right from your music app. The next tweak is local IAP store which just gives you free in-app purchases. I'm not going to really go into much options with that one because it's a simple tweak and all it does is give you free in-app purchases. Night mode just gives you a very much better looking look for your settings or whatever options you want to set it for. So as you can see right here when I go into application settings I can set it for any app. Right now I don't have it set for a lot because it kind of messes up the font because it's not really optimized right now. I tried to install this one time before and then I ended up breaking up, breaking my jailbreak. But as of right now, it has been updated to work with 9.3.3 and the latest versions of the jailbreak. So you can install it right now and it will work perfectly. 
the next two I'm going to be showing you is no app store redirect. I definitely recommend this. And all it does is it allows you to stop redirects from Cydia. So they added adverts into Cydia. But if you get this tweak, all you need to do is choose which apps you do not want to redirect you to the app store. And it will show you how many apps have been blocked. App store redirects have been blocked. As you can see here, I have 27. Also, the next tweak is no slow animations. No slow animations basically just allows me to stop animations from being so long. I definitely recommend this for all your devices. It just speeds up your animations. It doesn't get rid of them completely, but it just speeds them up, make them feel maybe much faster. And it also speeds up your HUDs, so it gets rid of them quicker. The next tweak I'm going to be showing you is nude keys. Nude keys basically just allows you to set different options for your keyboard. So you can have different colors for the top and different colors for the bottom. Or you can just set a dark keyboard or you can just set background color enabled. Background color enabled basically just allows you to set the background. So like I have a whitish background right here. So it gives me a white keyboard and as a whitish keyboard. The next tweak is peekaboo, which is as you saw just saw me before on the keyboard when I use my 3D touch on the keyboard, it basically allows me to scroll through any of this. But if you do not have a device that works with 3D touch, like an iPhone 5S or any device that isn't an iPhone 6S or iPhone 6S Plus or an iPad Pro, you can get this and this just allows you to add 3D touch to any of those devices below that. So right now I have an iPhone 6 and as you can see here, whenever I 3D touch on a device, it will allow me to use it. Any 3D touch on an app, it will allow me to get 3D options for that app. And you can set the sensitivity for it and you can set peak and pop so it just gives you the full 3D touch experience on a device that does not have 3D touch. The next tweak is called Phantom. Phantom just basically gives you a bunch of different options for your Snapchat. So it just, I'm not going to go really into my Snapchat to show you guys this, but it's just an amazing tweak that allows you to save snaps without people knowing and also view their snaps without them knowing. And it also allows you to pause on one snap so you can look at it for a while. And that's basically the gist of it. The next tweak is Preference Organizer. I have talked about this tweak before, so I'm not going to really go into much options with it. All it does is it gives you four options right here. System apps, social networking apps, Cydia tweaks, and App Store apps. You can go and check that out yourself. It just gives you those four options so you can have an organized settings. The next tweak I'm going to be showing you is called Repower. Repower, all it does is it allows you to add these options to your power menu so as you can see right here i have respring reboot and power off so if you want to respring quickly or reboot quickly just install this tweak and um, turn the switch to right and then you can just hold down your power button and it will work straight away the next tweak is snapper 2 and this basically just allows you to set activation methods to snap different options so if i swipe how i have mine right now if i swipe from left to right and hold down an area all I need to do is set the certain area and when I double tap it will make it a snapshot so now I can go into my home screen and it will snapshot will be there and I can go anywhere on my screen and the snapshot will still be there if you want to delete it all you need to do is click close or if you want to have some more options you just click on more and then it will allow you to save the image assign as a contact copy print or send it to any of your social media or even if you want to send it as an edge up to another iPhone you can do that as well and if you want to close it all you need to do is close it. The next tweak part of this tweak allows you to bring it back so if you have history for it all you need to do is triple tap and it will allow you to bring back the last thing you had and you can just exit or you can set it to no history so that there's no history there the next tweak is Springtimize 3 Springtimize 3 just allows you to set a whole bunch of different options for your device I'm not going to really go into too much options with that because that is a very big tweak the next tweak is Swipe Home all this does is allow me to swipe on my home card to delete all of the um cards i have right now so if i was to swipe on this it would delete all of the cards i have 
right now on my screen so I'm going to show you right there it deletes them all so now when I go back into it there are no cards left that is a simple tweak and I definitely recommend it if you would just like to just remove all your stuff quickly without having to do it the normal way that Apple sets you the next tweak is called upscale and upscale basically allows you to set and make your device look bigger on the screen as I said before it's not going to allow you to make your device look bigger like it's not gonna make your device bigger it will just make your device look better on the screen so I an, if you have an iphone 4 i demand recommend setting it for an iphone 5 and if you have an iphone 5 i recommend setting it for an iphone 6 and you basically get the gist just one upgrade up i don't recommend going two or three because your device will completely not be able to handle going up that big you can set your own resolutions right here but i don't recommend that because you can end up messing up your device the next tweak is called Video Pane. I'm pretty sure everybody's heard about this, but all it does is it allows you to add video panes. So when, if you set it as double tap, when I go into YouTube and double tap on a video, it will set it as a pane in the top right hand corner, and I can move the pane around and I can do other stuff while, other stuff like type or use other apps while watching the video at the same time. You can set activation methods. And you can set a whole bunch of different options. I'm not going to show you these options because it's quite a big tweak. And this video is quite long. The next tweak I'm going to be showing you is Virtual Home. Virtual Home basically just allows you to set a bunch of different options for your home button. So instead of having to press your home button, you can just tap it. And when you tap it, it use your Touch ID sensor in order to sense you tap in the button and it will just make it look like you're pressing the home button so when I single tap it brings me to my home screen when I double tap it brings me to my multitasking center and when I short hold it brings down reachability and when I tap and hold it will bring me down to sleep mode which basically is just locking your device there's a bunch of different options you can go and check those out your yourself the next tweak is just a WhatsApp enhancer and all it does is it allows you to enhance your WhatsApp so you can disable read receipts and add a bunch of different fonts to your WhatsApp. So I definitely recommend that tweak if you use WhatsApp a lot. So now I'm going to be going on to my home screen and my apps that I am using as of this moment. So the first thing you're going to notice about my home screen is that I have iWidgets. This is due to iWidgets and the pack I am using right now is iWidgets pack SCH4. So when you get this all you need to do is hold down and then you can choose whichever widget you want. The one I'm using right now is LIMPIOS SCH and once you add it you can just hold it down. When you add it it will be in the top left, right, left hand corner. All you need to do is hold it down and move it to the middle and put it right there and it will bring a whole new look to your home screen the next app that I am going to be showing you is called iCleaner iCleaner just basically allows you to clean your device and I recommend it for every device that you guys own every iOS device and it allows you to clean out all those unused stuff so if you have a bunch of unused stuff just use this app and then click cleaner to the top right hand corner and it will clean out all of those stuff the next tweak I'm going to be showing you is actually a theme and the theme is called biscuit so this allows you to set this certain theme that I have right now the name is biscuit and it brings a whole new look to your control center and also to your notification center so I recommend getting this theme the next app I'm going to be showing you I have showed you in a previous video so I'm not going to really go into too much detail about it but all it does is it allows you to erase and unjail break your device so if you want to stay on the same version you're on right now, like if you're on iOS 9.3.3 but your your city has stopped working or it's broken or something, and you, or your device just turns slow and it's annoying, all you need to do is click Erase Data and Unjailbreak. You need Wi-Fi in order for this to work. And look, your device should be on a high battery. If you have a faster device, it will do it faster, but if you have a slower device, it will take quite a while. I tried this on an iPhone 4 and it took about... 20 minutes so it's quite quick for an eraser I think that wraps up all of my tweaks guys um, these videos take quite a while to create so please show some love in the comments and also show some love on that like button this is X Original Tech signing out 
please like, subscribe and comment. And if you want to tweet at me or ask me any questions, ask me in the comments at X Original Tech. Peace.